I love I love that story about like the the boys aren't too clear on who's playing because you're right. Usually you got yeah. bibs and you got non bibs and people kind of know. We we went to about Thursday one week and I actually had to go to Eddie and say, uh, mate, uh, the boys we kind of need to know the the team. He's like, oh shit, have I have I not named the team? Yeah. And the next day we go down. This is a Friday and he had laid out the bibs on the floor one to eight, nine to fifteen, like mm. you know from a scrum. And he goes, right, I haven't named the team. Um, go stand where you think you should be. Wow. So like <laughs> the boys kind of all shuffled into place. And I I almost misheard the thing. Like I just assumed me and Jamie George would meet at the number two bib. But Jamie had walked to the 16 bib. I walked to the two bib. Everyone, he goes, right, that's the team. And we were just like, what? But he always kept it... Um, on edge he didn't want yeah. people to get comfortable because i've seen it with guys before like they get told monday and then they, they take it easy in training he just wanted it all the way up to the game to be competitive as like he mm. wanted everyone pushing each other um but yeah the, the amount of times i had to kind of ask him to to name the team and and to let people know where they stand for almost for synergy like we kind of needed to train as a starting unit and a, and a finishing unit we just needed to know but um he was so relaxed about it <laughs> it's great my gosh. I don't, I don't know if I'd recommend it. Um, yeah. That's crazy. That stand on your jersey stories, that's, that's, that's ballsy. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be straight to the 10 jersey. <laughs> I fluked it. I fluked it. I got another cap out of that just by standing by the two. Yeah. <laughs> Fair play. Can you, can you believe that Jones didn't pick Bath scrum half Ben Spencer? Yeah, I think it comes back to, to that Moneyball style thing. It's like Connor Murray and, and Cooney. It's like, I know... Ben Young's, he's on like 99 tests. Like Eddie probably wants to get him, get into 100, you know. Mm. Um, but in that position, like a Reberim, you want someone with a cool head experience, especially when there's a Six Nations to go and win. Do you want an experienced player or do you want to take a punt? I'm not saying taking a punt on, on Spencer is a massive risk because he's been involved with that team and that squad for a while. But Eddie knows what he's going to get from Ben Young's. And coming out of COVID where um, international rugby has been on hold for, for eight months, do you want to start with players that you know or do you want to go in cold? Um, nice, yeah. And especially when the like – England, England can win this tournament. You know, they just need to uh, – is it pump, pump Italy? And then Ireland need to win both games with, with five points in the bag. So mm. – I kind of see it as England's tournament to lose. And um, if, if I was a head coach, you'd, you'd go tried and tested, experienced. Um, and I think in a key position like nine and 10, that's exactly where you want your experience. 